And tonight we have learned President Obama will visit Orlando on Thursday. Other details about the trip have not yet been released. Across the tri-state, people are coming together to comfort each other and try to make sense of all of this. This was the scene in Over the Rhine tonight. Crowds so large that a street had to be closed as people at Below Zero Lounge remembered the Orlando victims. Nine on your sides, Ashley Zilka was there tonight. Ashley? Well, the shooting happened almost a thousand miles away, but the LGBT community is feeling the loss here in the Queen City. Tonight, Below Zero Lounge became a safe place for those to grieve. The support overwhelming. I look around and I see this is what love is. This is what acceptance is. Crowds so large that police had to shut down Walnut Street. A vigil at Below Zero Lounge turned into a massive movement for the LGBT community. To see oh, the whole community become like this, be as one to show support to all of my friends and family back in Orlando. It was just amazing. Joey Meadows moved from Orlando to Cincinnati. Two of his friends were killed in the massive shooting. You couldn't hear anything because of they couldn't re remove the bodies. He says hours passed and all he could do was wait. Finally, as like my friends called last late last night at 11:30 and saying that we found we found Drew and we found his boyfriend. Juan. Meadows joined hundreds of others in their time of need. Religious groups, politicians, and performers packed below Zero Lounge. A vigil that proves out of tragedy comes hope. Everybody in the city, the arts community, the straight community, the GLBT community. If you look around and see this massive crowd, you'll see how close we are. Now, people like Meadows are going to Florida this week to attend some of these funerals. The owner of Below Zero Lounge says he plans to hold a benefit for the families of the victims. Reporting live, Ashley Zilka, 9 on your side.